Welcome back to Sexified Skyrim Winches Gone Wild. And here we are with Aurora, our beautiful new ghostly pale elf girl. She is gorgeous and has great hair. And she's I put her in elven armor because that's things that elves wear. And of course, Sophia is with us and she's beautiful as ever in her very, very sexy kind of succubus looking thing. And we're here in this tomb with this door. Now, we have already picked up Olaf's verses and we could go back and deliver those verses to the place, to the bard guy. And he that that will be that. And then we can maybe like you know sleep with bards and stuff but that's not going to happen right now because for whatever reason skyrim wants us to go through this door which look off camera because i wanted to help you guys and 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 like maximize time and stuff so i already sent this i already did it but i could hardly see in my inventory what that looked like so i don't know if maybe it'll open or i might get killed or shot or something i don't know maybe but look what a time saver that was, you know, I, I probably spent as much time talking about it as I did setting it, but whatever. Look, the girls are coming and we're going to kill stuff and we're going to probably get in like very, very serious trouble over here because that's how Skyrim does it. You know, they put those doors, you know, the, it's like those, those dragon claw doors are not put to like protect, you know, a, a stuffed animal or something except you know okay we went down that road there was one but that was a special added thing with that stuff bunny and that was not okay look let's just kill these guys are gonna wake up we know they're gonna wake up and these girls are gonna just kill all of them and you know i'm thinking i'm thinking this is look look here's what we're gonna do this this is the thing we will do is talk to aurora we're going to trade with her you know, this is yes, this is a thing we can do it. with her, and everybody really is a, that's a follower. Well, so, but that, everybody knows this. This is dumb. So we're gonna give her. Um, I'm carrying around just tons of garbage. But look, this Hagsrath staff with the fire wall of fire thing, that's gonna be hers. And we'll give her these well a staff of ice bikes. But you know, she could have both. We'll, we'll just give her one at for now. For now, Be and away. she's got now. She and she both have walls of fire. And look, when we engage in here, I look there. This place is gonna light up. It, it waters down there. That's not gonna stop the fire. They're going to light this place up. It's gonna be brilliant. And you know, that's going to allow me to find a good hiding spot while they kill everything. So, here we go. There's the ghost. We're stepping in. What? What? Okay. Th that's it? No. Okay, the ghost is going to do something. I'm going to stay back. We're going to watch what happens. And now the girls engage. And there goes some fire. And then, but Aurora's not using hers for whatever reason. It's super powerful. She should use that. Oh, God. See, now they're getting up, and I don't want to fight them. But we're going to... Okay, we'll follow our girls. And they're... Okay, this guy, he's... I think he's after the king guy. And this... There, okay, there goes the fire. and But not Aurora. It's all Sophia. All Sophia. Flames every freaking place because she loves to just light everything on fire. This is good. This is super... Okay, Aurora's not doing well. I could heal them, but I have like 100 mana, and it doesn't really matter because they are immortal, so they get up real fast, and God, there's just so much fire. Not as much as I'd hoped, but it's fine. It's good. That's, and okay, these guys, that ghost can kill all of these. We don't even have to fight them. You know, he can, he can kill them, right? He's, I think he has some bitterness in here, and he's probably got some aggression to take out on these guys. And that's fine. We're happy that the ghost... What? My vengeance is at hand. Yeah, see, he wants vengeance, and... Oh, see, he didn't... There wasn't a king. Now comes the king, I guess. Or there's Draugr White, and I think those do spell things, and I don't like it. But we're going to watch these girls and that ghost, and they're going to kill everything for me. So I can just walk around and loot stuff later. But for now, we enjoy the show. 
because they are freaking brilliant. And look, okay, there's another one. Do you want to help this guy or just let him do it? We can just let him do it. You know, he's he's angry with these guys. We can tell that because, look, he's killing them. You know, he doesn't like that white at all. And, you know, he's doing freaking good. He doesn't seem to be taking any... I can't... There's no bar on him or whatever, but so I can't tell if he's hurt or anything, but, you know, he's killing that that white, and that's, that's going to be that. See, it's dead. So, now... Where are you going? See, because the reason we're here... I, I, is he going to... Well, okay, now... Oh, God. It's a dragon priest. It's a freaking dragon... I, I should have remembered that the King Olaf is a dragon priest. And we don't like those. I mean, we like the masks that they drop. Those are good. But they are dangerous. They're super dangerous to me because I... I don't, I can't take those magic hits. So, that's, look at that fire. Look at the, how much she loves to use that staff. And she casts fire from her other hand. Look, Sophia is brilliant. I love her. And, okay, there's that guy, and he's dead. Because she's badass. Lo okay, let's just loot him. Let's loot him. And he has this treasury key. And that sounds like... It's going to be a good thing for us to get treasure from. So, that's good. That's very, very good. And I... Okay, where's the ghost? I don't know. And I, really, I don't care because the thingy is dead. The... the, the um, but he wasn't a priest. He wasn't a dragon priest, was he? I don't know. Maybe there's a dragon priest up there. It looked like a dragon priest. Maybe that he just wears similar clothing or something. And he wanted to look like a dragon priest but he really wasn't one or I don't know I don't know you know we we can speculate but it's not going to do us any good all that's going to do us any good is getting this loot and because we need it we need more okay we need this because it smelts and we need lots and lots of money you know lots of money because girls like money and you know not not all of them it's not like a you know I don't want to be like that guy I'm not that guy you know not all girls are all about the money. But look, you know, if you have money but are still a very nice guy, that, you know, that can help. So we're going to do that. We're going to get money, you know, whether they really are after it or not. Because my girls, you know, they're going to, they don't even know what I have in the bank. You know, they don't care about that. They like killing things, and I take them places where they can kill things. And that's, you know, it's a good, good relationship that way. So we're, you know, we're going to just do that. And, look, I can take those arrows, but I'm not, this isn't like, oh, mighty steel greatsword. That is just steel ingots for us, but, you know, whatever. We're going to, we're going to loot anyway, you know. It's the same silver ingot. This, okay, this hasn't been a great place for loot. Maybe Meridia's temple thing is going to be the way to go. But for now, we're going to search this white. Take that and this, and okay, now I'm too encumbered. But we've got Sophia; she can carry I'm everything all ears. ever made. Well, not literally, of course. Okay, good storage. That's Are it. Are you saying and you don't trust me? Yes, we're gonna. Fair we'll, point, actually. Look, I wouldn't trust me. Okay, okay. We're. It's not a trust issue. We we just carry stuff. You know, you you are our our beast of burden. You know, that's not, I don't mean it in a demeaning way, but you do carry all the stuff. You know, this junk, all the junk that I constantly pick up, you know, because I can't not pick up junk, that's what you do. You carry it, you know, and then we'll sell it or, or smelt it or, you know, whatever we do with it. That's the thing we do. And then, you know, it's all going to be good because we've got a house now and we're, we're trying to... You know, we want a better, like, stuff in our house because it's, like, I'm empty right now. It a little, it's Jack. just, okay. All right, all right. Let's just move on. I don't know what, okay, I, I don't know. These guys, they don't really have much, right? It's like I've not seen, I can't remember who I've looted. You know, I get, I start talking and I just ramble and I can't remember where I've been, what I've done. What the hell is going on? There's a word wall 
that we don't have any any dragon souls for and it's a whirlwind sprint which is useful it's a useful word thingy but I can't do any of that stuff because I don't like dragons in my game right now you know that's that's not a thing we want because you know it isn't so we're gonna just there wasn't a dragon priest right it was just because the, the they couldn't have both fit in here right that's just a one that's just a one um, like King Olaf sized thing so and he came out of there didn't he didn't you where are you where okay he was in there and look at the size of him and the size of that that we'd, it, we couldn't have fit a dragon priest in there with him I don't think you know maybe they could have squeezed him I suppose but you know I, a king that's not you know that wouldn't have been all that dignified you know if he had well okay look whatever we're gonna move on when okay good we've got the key we don't have to try a freaking master lock again and that's a Nordic spear okay it looks interesting but probably is worthless and that's that and then the chest and okay come on come on give me a what what okay that's 60 seconds of that is not bad I will never ever use it because I don't maybe I don't know you know if I okay whatever look just loot the stuff come on man what is going on here get this loot that's what we want the loot more loot levers doors you know let's just go I'm done we're gonna get out of here I'm done with this place this you know it, it's just look it's underground it's dank it smells in here we're gonna just take the loot and run you know there's an iron cutlass but I don't want that we're gonna go out what this didn't lead us to the, like the front door maybe okay there's five gold that's worth stopping for and then where are we this okay good 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 this is the entrance yes it is and out we go off with the verses to the barge college and everybody's gonna be very happy that we brought back this old dusty like waterlogged tome that it's half illegible that's it's almost worthless you know but but they want it they want it very much and it's gonna make this you know, like light a thing on fire or something with the ceremony and okay whatever we're gonna go we're gonna go we just need to find the key that pulls up the map and that's the one so here we go back to that's Nestor's helmet that's not what we're doing we want to go to the large college so we're gonna go let's say to the blue palace and we're no enemies what enemy okay guys kill whatever what is close to us you know okay Aurora are you causing problems are you are you picking a fight with something I don't see an enemy but she looks like she's got you know bad intent what what's happening Aurora are you okay now she's relaxed and because she's relaxed then everybody else is relaxed and the map will know that we are all relaxed and we're just gonna go back to this place here what okay that's not the button but we're gonna do it when we find the right freaking button are we gonna find the right you know I play this game in the dark I that's stupid look I know how to pull up a map like this it's up in solitude it's fine we don't have to waste time like that just go to the palace good fine everybody's happy now because we've got some loot not a lot not a lot in there but you know we got some it's gonna help everything adds up and we're gonna have a better better house and and more women you know because that's the goal the house is a means to an end and the girls are we you know we like their ends very much and so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna do their ends you know or, or whatever they're okay their hind end you know oh I'm, no okay that didn't help what I was saying there that didn't make it like less um, like rude and stuff but uh, you know it is kind of you know look let's be realistic here guys let's just everybody 
realize that guys like girls sometimes and you know not all guys like girls and that's fine you know that's more girls for me if those other guys don't like girls I do and that's very much what I want you know so we're gonna do that and so the other guys that don't like girls I I like that they are there because that means you know okay look 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 we, we don't have to go and talk about that right now we're just gonna turn in this book and be famous in the Bards College Hi, Vera. Ah, you've returned. How goes the task I gave you? We found that book. I have to admit, I didn't think it would actually be there. Now, let's take a look at this. Oh. Oh, no. This won't do at all. The copy is incomplete. It's aged to the point that parts are unreadable. Yeah, you just parts complain. That are readable, you know, we risked our lives and you just freaking complain. Come a long way since ancient uh, times. Yeah, okay. Okay. What what? It means I can't read it to the court. Without the verse, I won't be able to convince Elisif of the importance of the burning of King Olaf festival. But yes. If she isn't convinced of the festival's importance, then she won't reverse her decision to stop the effigy burning. Look, we know it what... It means okay. that the burning of King Olaf, which the Bard's College has held for time immemorial, won't be happening. It's so dramatic. You don't have to be such a drama queen. We'll just make it up. Make it up? That yes. That doesn't seem appropriate. I suppose I could copy his style based on what you brought me, but I have no idea what happened in between these verses. Look, okay, let's just do it. We'll, oh, we'll Olaf, make it up. Our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer, death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king, your legend is lies, lurid, and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex, a con for the ages. King Olaf was Olaf One-Eye? He famously captured the dragon Numenex and took him to Dragon's Reach. What do we say really happened? So, okay, look, you know, we could select anything. It doesn't matter because, you know, it just doesn't. But we, what we do is persuade because we might get skill ups. So I find that highly unlikely. Yeah, but, but I still increase my speech. So writing it in, you know, he, whether he found it likely or not, it Olaf doesn't matter grabbed because power by promise and threat. Okay. From fall grief to winter hold, they fell to their knees, but solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Strange. According but... to history, Solitude attacked Winterhold, but this seemed to be saying Olaf reacted. What do we say happened? Um, again, we say whatever a persuade check tells us to say. No, that, that's oh, pushing it too damn. far. Okay, very well, exciting, but highly unlikely. You I know, can't if, possibly write if I in. had my amulet of Zenithar on, we could do this better. But, uh, you know, I don't do that kind of stuff, like remember things. So, okay, whatever. Let's, let's, <laughs> that and they got the, the orders backwards. <laughs> yes, I'm writing that in. <laughs> it should be good for a laugh from the court. <laughs> that it? It has a few final lines, but that's all we needed to add. I need to head to court immediately and present this. You should come. Good. Okay, because we like to look at the Jarl, you know. She she knows we don't look at her with, you know, like, pure intent or whatever. But that's, you know, she's okay with it, really. She knows, you know, that kind of... All right, come on. Let's just go. We'll go up to the Blue Palace. We, we, Falk Firebeard, I don't know what his deal is, but maybe, maybe it will somehow unbreak, um, Sabeel. Because I can't, we need to, we need Sabeel. We don't know where that vampire lair thing is that she wants us to do, um, but maybe Falk does. I don't know. May, maybe he does. You know, and this guy walks slow, so we're going to just, we're going to catch butterflies because we need those wings. And then, 
we can catch up with him because look how slow he is and you know that's fine we're, we need the, we need wings we need girls you already have wings so I love your wings but they're not blue butterfly wings and we're not gonna make potions out of their wings you know not out of the girls wings because those they need those Come on, dude, just, okay, you know, this has been so important to him, and he, you know, he didn't think he could maybe pick up the pace a little bit, but it's fine. Everything's fine. We're going to do this. You know, we're going to get through this. So there, okay, we're, I thought you wanted to talk with the, well, now what's your deal? All right, all right, what's up? Okay, he won't talk to me. Are you going to talk to me? I do hope the court likes the verse. I think we've done an excellent job of recreating it. Yeah, are we ready? I think my voice is ready. I hope we've done this well. Yes, let's do it well. Let's go. You know, because it, we everyone knows. Everyone knows it doesn't matter. You can write anything in that book, you know, in crayon if you wanted and they would just buy it you know that they, they're gonna buy it and we're gonna still burn that um, like scarecrow thing and it's gonna be fine so just come up here and you know do your boring uh, verse thing so we'll just be here ah the armo I assume you are here to petition for the reinstatement of the burning of King Olaf festival I am, Jarl. I wish to present King Olaf's verse from the Poetic Edda, recovered this very day from the Bard's tomb. You mentioned something that would convince us the festival should take place, but I didn't expect King Olaf's lost verse. Please proceed. Oh, Olaf, <laughs> our subjugator, so We don't have to pay attention betrayer. to this guy because it's just... He repeats Death, dealing, demon, what he already dragon, read to us king. in the Bard's College. Your and look, she's looking at us. She's, lurid, she's not paying attention to him. Your she likes us. Of you know, and she is gorgeous. She's look at her no hair and her body and, man, and, you know, and no her tight tummy. She is entail. very, very, very hot. And Olaf she wants us because look at her. Human form on yes, she he would spread Dude, wings and you know, sail. We already Olaf heard that verse, but look at her. And threat. From fall grief to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. She, he, Olaf she doesn't care at all about that verse. And wicked. He is trying to be all Olaf dramatic, and she just disguises. wants me. An attack on solitude. We like that very much. His men dressed up and then went out to fight. Dude. But they reversed Olaf's orders, much to Winterhold's sorrow. And look, when he's done, so she, she's just going to tell him whatever Olaf he wants to hear because she wants me. You know, and I'm going to get in the Bard's College, and she's going to like me for that because that in is helpful to their Bard's city. And she wants service. me around because they look at her eyes. She she likes us a lot. You, you have know. proven your point, Viarmo. The festival is truly a celebration of solitude and a condemnation of false kings. I thank you, and the college thanks you, Jarl. Furthermore, I believe that such a fine poem deserves some payment of patronage. The college will be generously rewarded. Oh, thank you yet again. I will make sure our applicant, who was instrumental in recovering the poem, will yep. be well rewarded. Yep, that's me. I'm the Unbelievable. one. Unbelievable! done us a great service here I can't begin to thank you enough does that mean I'm a bard now soon soon of course we need this must be done properly you will be inducted as part of the festival itself I need you to go speak to Yorn he was preparing the effigy of King Olaf Yorn. tell him to finish the preparations the festival is Stuart, back on fantastic okay yeah our people in this difficult time now that's that's I a thing we we're gonna do parade and let general Tullius march his troops from the blue palace to castle dower 
in all their finery. The guards in Skyrim are a miserable bunch. Okay. We risk life and limp slaying wolves, bandits, and a lot worse all day. And they complain about a single arrow in the knee. <laughs> the general needs uh, I love that story. Fighting battles against the Stormcloaks. I must protest my yard. Okay, these guys... A parade would make you an easy target for a Stormcloak assassin. You're safer here in the palace. Oh, very well. I can see there's no changing your stubborn Nord mind. But when this war is won, I will have my parade. Yes, my Yara. So, they had a conversation, but, okay, of course, Sophia, despite having set her to 24 hours, she, of course, had to talk folk. during it. I'm but it's there, okay, but because they, they always say Speak the same thing. Mind, That's Bryla. how Skyrim works. And then here. she... You, you know, know, she'll always say the same the thing to them, too, hold. but let's talk However, to her again, because she's so pretty, and I like her. That's a fine and, day with you, around. you know, so, but, you know, these are, these are depressing subjects, you know, because I know how she's going to respond, and that's fine. So, we won't make her sad. She, she, she likes us right now. We don't need to make her sad. Yes. So we won't. We're going to go over and see. Sabil, is there anything's changed? Or is there a... Um, okay, look, you know what? Here. I had you figured for a mage. We're going to do some selling with her. You know, she's not, she's not giving us options that, you know, give us access to her nether areas and stuff, but... That's okay. We're going to get there sooner or later if the quest isn't broken. But for now, we need soul gems because our enchanting stinks. We're very, very bad at that. Um, we can fix it, though. But, okay, so now I just bought a few of those. Uh, you know, we're, we're poor still. I don't want to spend all our money on soul gems, but we need some. Um, and we can probably... Oh, I don't want to sell... You know, here, take... But that's only 200. I'd rather the girls use it, but you know, I'll take 200 and then, but we'll keep the soul trap thingy. Um, what about this? Uh, Amulet of Tower Talos. I cannot shout, but she will only pay 11 for that. So, you know, I, I'd rather just put it in a freaking box instead of okay, look, that we're done here, we're done. We're done. Vampires are clever You've hunters. Got nothing More new to say to it. Okay, Definitely. we're when going. War is over and Ulfric is dead. You'll see that you were jumping at shadows, and nothing more. Okay, Falk, was there? Did you have anything the else watch over your that battles, we? Friend. No, no, no. I want to go kill those vampires so we can get to this vampire uh, in Anyone here. With a stout heart like yours. But I. Okay, here. I'm lost. I'm freaking lost. You know, I know we talked with her. I, we and and she told us to get the freaking vampires, but but then I installed the later version of um, Amorous Adventures, and maybe that's what the problem is, you know. And it's not the mod thing's fault because you know they they give good instructions, but I don't pay very close attention to things you know I kind of just wing it and you know if I uninstalled and reinstalled and did things wrong that maybe broke it's my fault not theirs they did great this mod is great you know it's not their fault that people that use mods are not you know as okay look let's just go we're gonna go talk to some guy he's over here up here and in here yes so you know it's the bard college and that's where we find the bards so we're going in here and we're gonna find this bard where where is he where is he Ildi, okay I see what year did so the old Mary Dominion invade the Empire late 171 good Ildi soak in the lore Ildi Yorn, what happened hi Ildi red year? what's You're your deal here, right welcome to the bards college yeah hi a musical museum. Red Mountain erupts. She's kind of pretty, but she doesn't want to sleep with us, and Remember, that's okay. Well, not bard, everybody does. I'm Deed of Luke, the bard's bard's We're going to just no keep going, and we're going to find this guy. He's over this direction, Can we really and just make things up? 
he is right. not in this room. Read carefully. But you will see there are ways to stay true to the essence. Maybe he's Even while downstairs. You know, the Bard's College, there, it has a downstairs, right? And, okay, there. if I look down, there is an arrow Building. that points what down. The Aldmeri Dominion invade and the Empire? we just need Late to find out years. how to get down. Good Ildi, that's, the and that's, that's easy Bjorn. because there's what stairs that go down. Um, and this guy Morrowind is right here. So, hi, Jorn. Ah, the bard to be. Yep. Did Viarmo send you? Mm-hmm. That's the festival is I'll back tell on. Everyone we're ready. Good, good. But we'll start the festival at dusk. Dusk. Come talk to me after dark. We'll get the festival started when you do. Right, and we will do that. That's and that's good. They're gonna throw a festival for us. Remember and, well not for us, but you know, it's it might as well be, because they couldn't Look, they couldn't have had it without us, so we're just going to think it's for us, you know, it's it's fine. They, well, We think in our private brain, they don't have to care about, and you know, so it's our festival, right? We just don't ever, we're not going to tell all them, you know, because that seems kind of, you know, maybe a little egotistical and things, and we're not that kind of orc, you know, we're just, look, we got to wait till dusk. But we got to give, okay, we'll, we'll deal, you know what, guys, I, we're going to deal with inventory management and stuff off screen, you know, off screen things, because that is freaking boring and we're not going to do it to you. And we're going to, you know, instead we're going to do other boring things. Like grabbing freaking butterfly. Okay, no, we're not. We're not. We're not. Um, there was a reason why I was heading in this direction. I, I, would, I didn't say anything about it because I, I wanted to just go here. But now I can't freaking remember what I was doing. And that girl, th there was something with her. I can't remember. Something, She is she getting married? Or I don't remember. But that's not what I was thinking about. I, I, at least I remember it that much. No, it's okay. Yes, this okay. This is it, right? Who, who are you, Arya? Yes, okay. The, she's not the reason I came here either, but she's a good reason to be here because Lady she's not. Lady Atia says my voice is second only to hers, but she's selling me short. Right. Okay. So no, there. Uh, God, nobody wants to sleep with me today, but it's okay. It's okay. Everybody just relax. We're gonna talk with Yvette. Yvette. You wouldn't have a few minutes to run down to the docks, would you? Yes, that's what, because we're going to finish and get five out of five by running to the docks. Well, I've got a shipment of spices the East Empire Company is holding up. I need someone to convince them to release it. Uh, that's no problem. We're going to do that back right to me now. When you're done, and I'll give you something for your time. Good. That's all we want. In fact, you know, Good luck she's going to give us Seems spiced like wine or something. Um, it's like we're going to go get her the spiced wine and she's going to like pull one out and say, oh, here, have this one bottle for getting all these other bottles. And, and that's a fair payment. It really is. But, okay, for what we're going to do, though, is um, I don't know. I can't remember if this is like an involved thing. I don't think it is. It should be very quick. And we get the five helping things for the for the hold. And, you know, that'll make, you know, Elisif like us even more. You know, she, good God, she could not take her eyes off of us during that. You guys all saw that, right? Ever, do you girls, you notice? She was eyeing me up and down. She liked my orkness. And this, okay, that's not a, we don't like that girl. We're going to move on down here, though, and go to the, we're gonna, wherever Yvette's stuff is, that's where we're going to go. Um, but, you know, the Jarl, that's, you know, she liked us. She, she likes us, I can tell. So, oh, wow, really? We never discovered that farm yet? Hmm. Well, that would, you know, we're, that makes sense because we haven't really gone everywhere. So, it's good, you know. We, we learn more stuff, and learning is good. Lear what, okay, now where am I going? Well, look, if I just pulled up the freaking thing, and we're just going to do this, that's, okay, we can go back to there. We know we're going back to there after dark, and right now... We just need this guy, and nothing with the helmet can wait. You know, or never, ever get that helmet. I don't know. 
you know, because this is going to satisfy the five things. And, you know, Nestor, I feel bad his soldier day thing was a very, very sad tale. And we would like to have him have his freaking hat or whatever. His, he misses it. He needs that thing. And, you know, it'll make the beggar in town, you know, happy and whatever. That's We're not all about that, but it's not something that's a bad thing to do. So whatever. We might help him out. But for now, we just, okay, look, look, we're going to remember this time, right? We're going to actually remember to put on something that is helpful. That, is it this? Okay, that does prices, not speech. And we're not going to buy from her, but maybe we can just intimidate her because we're a big, scary-looking orc. The girls do all the damage, but she doesn't know that. She probably thinks I'm tough, and we're going to talk mm -hmm. to her. Sorry, I was lost in thought. I'm planning my wedding, you see. Oh, so she's... So many details to work out. She's pretty. You know, they did... She wasn't before, but look, she's pretty, right? I'm not thrilled with the hair, but her eyes and... Okay, that's not why we're here. Look, Yvette, uh, she wants the spices thing. Ah, yes. If she wants to pay the 2,000 gold tariff, then we'll be all set. Oh, God, no, I'm not paying two grand, and there's no intimidate but look okay if i fail this persuade she's gonna make me pay more than 249 gold but you know we're gonna try it we're gonna am i should i i should probably just pay the two no no we're gonna try it because maybe a skill up i thing. suppose i could make an exception yes look I see like her spiced wine we got Fine. it Fine. tell Yvette son her shipment will be brought up to solitude shortly Good. Okay, I'm glad I risked that. That's good. It wasn't really a risk, but whatever. She, and I like her, I like her face. She's not, her, her eyes are a little bit like maybe vampire-y-ish, kind of leaning. They're very light and kind of, I don't know, it's goldish or whatever. But I like her. I like her. You know, and I am not, I am not opposed to, you know, you having romantic relationships with vampires. You know, or anybody really, because look, you know, some of these Khajiit and even Argonians are kind of sexy. And, you know, it's look, we could just pretend like we're we're a furry or something. You know, I don't know. The tail might get in the way, but my girls have tails and they're not in my way. And we're going to. OK, we'll leave that. We'll just we don't need to think about that thing at the moment. But, you know, it is something that you might think about, you know, like Khajiit and Argonians, they uh, they have the same basic essential parts for the sex, sex stuff. So, you know, look, I'm just saying it's, it's a thing. And, okay, okay. We're going to move up here and do Yvette's stuff. Because she's going to be very happy, and that's going to satisfy her quest. And then we're going to go burn something and be very, very happy about that, too, and be a bard. So it's almost dark, right? So this we're just killing time, but not really. We're getting things done. So just, just back off, man. It's, it's Everything is good. So I'm sorry. I You know, it wasn't your fault. Guys, whoever is out there, um, that was mean of me to say the back off thing. And, and you know, because you're not pressing me. It's not your, I don't feel pressure. I don't feel any pressure from you at all. Hi, Yvette. Mmm, spiced wine for you. It's a family recipe. Um, yeah, we got all kinds of things that we're not going to talk to her about. So here's the thing with the spices. Thank you so much. I swear it's a fight with them every shipment. Here's something for your troubles. Fantastic. So she gave us the spiced wine and 25 gold. So that's that's good and cool. Good We've got the five out of Seems five, like just like I said, time. because not, I, I do remember some things about some things we've done in, in Skyrim. So that's that is very, very, very good. And here we go. It's almost dark. And, you know, we're going to do the bard thing. And that's going to be very fun. And OK, where are we going? Because, like, I took the map marker thing off, and now I just I keep looking at it for it, and it's not there. And, 
Um, what, what's your deal? Aren't you supposed to be setting up for the party? There's going to be a party here. And, and, you know, we did that quest. We have spiced wine. But look, when we, when we start the party, what are they going to serve? Spiced wine. Free, and anybody can take it. And so this special spiced wine I got doesn't seem all that special anymore. But we're going to wait for a couple hours, maybe, or something. Because I don't want to wait any longer for darkness. So, you know, one hour. One hour, and it's dark. And then this magically does it okay there's where's my freaking party you know it's after dusk it's what did they put up the thingy here no we're okay look do i have to zone out or something let's just go into the blue palace you know we'll fix this we'll get this done because they i know they want to celebrate they've been waiting and waiting to do this thing so you'd think that they would they would set up the party more than like five freaking minutes before the celebration. But, but look, 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 it's fine. We're going to go in here. When we come out, everything's going to be ready because that's how they do things. And, you know, last minute, sometimes people do things very, very efficiently and they can get things done at the last minute. And that's what we're hoping for. So out we go again to go to the Barge College. So this is OK. This is. That last ruin we went through was super easy compared to getting this stupid festival going. Uh, okay, look, relax. Everything is good. We're gonna, they're gonna like us, and make us, you know, sw spiced wine stuff. So, is it is it late enough? Is that the problem? Is it or because look, it's not there yet. And all right, all right, all right. You know, he wanted us to wait until after whenever midnight or I don't even know. Um, but we're gonna freaking wait again. So it's nine now. We're gonna wait until midnight We're gonna freaking wait until midnight and that's when the party really is gonna start or not Because why I don't know why and we don't have to run all the freaking way to the blue palace because there is a zone area here and I just I really I just want this over with right now and where's Viarmo? is he in here this guy wants something from me I think but I don't care now I want my party I'm gonna go back out it's midnight it's definitely after dark you know so what I don't understand I really don't understand look let's okay look at the freaking thing you know there's okay something is going wrong um i don't have any quest marker up at the moment miscellaneous purchase a house not a miscellaneous thing we're gonna do this speak to jorn after dusk what in the hell am i doing wandering around not paying attention to the freaking quest marker stuff okay okay we've got this we all we have to do is go downstairs one more time talk to this guy after dark but he is not downstairs because i don't freaking pay attention so jorn where are you man we're gonna we got this party it's got to go right now get get ah, out there great Looks like you'll be one of us soon. We'll gather outside the college for the burning of King Olaf. And that is that. And because we're inside here, they're going to set this thing up in like two seconds. And look at all. Okay, we're not there yet, so you can't look at it yet. But when we get out, it'll just you're going to have to look at all the stuff they set up in the time between I when I talked with that guy and now. And then here, that's all set. So they're very, very the efficient. They're very good at that. And there's free food. And we don't eat food. You know, we don't have to. But here's what I was talking about. Spiced wine. It's free. Free. You can just candy. take it. And we don't want it. Get but we're going to come over here. And, and this is what we want. Is to stand right here. No. Okay. Who's. What, what's happening? We want to stand right here. 
right? And here comes the guy, and he's going to say things, and then we're going to... Okay, and then we're going to be a bard. So, come here. Where... Right. Do I have to talk to you or just stand Welcome, with you? Welcome, people okay, that's of fine. solitude. We of the Bard's College are pleased to be here to celebrate the burning of King Olaf. The festival would not have been possible without the dedication and hard work of our latest applicant. Yeah, and that okay, that's not a real effigy. enthusiastic applause, but it's it's fine. We're you know, we are just a new member. But you know He becomes a full fledged member of the Bard's College. Please welcome our newest Bard. So here they cl what, they clap once or something? But that's not they're not overwhelmed, and I didn't see any of these guys going into freaking Draugr infested ruins to retrieve books and stuff, but, you know, it's okay. Like you. It's fine. So, I'm a bard. Yes, congratulations. You are now a full-fledged member of the Bard's College. Due to your adventurous nature, several of the college professors have some things they wish you to do. What's more, Elisif has declared the burning of King Olaf should become a weekly event. And finally, there's the matter of the patronage that Elisif wanted me to give you. So, all right, the gift of gab added. I forgot that there was a thing like that. And a thousand gold, because we need gold. And what is the gift of gab? Let's look at that. That's a status effect, yes? Is it? Is it a gift of... Okay, what? I don't see... The gift of gab. Um... Speech increase... Okay, it, it increases our skill faster, but it doesn't make us speak better. But whatever, it's it's good, right? It's good. We're going to get our speech up because we need to be able to persuade girls to let us into their bedrooms and then we just do things to them and we don't need to talk about it because, you know, it's none of anyone else's business what we do in private with our beautiful succubus girls and... Okay, we're going to move. We're going to... Look, okay, here's a... This is a perfect thing. This is the perfect time for us to stand and let the girls come here. They can stand by in the glow of... Okay, but they won't stand next to each other. And that's okay. We love Sophia. She makes good screenshots and whatever. So she can stand in the glow with this beautiful fire. And we will thank you all for joining us. Because this has been a very fun adventure. We are a bard now. You know, and I think Sophia already was. But now we are too. And that's something else we have in common. But, you know, everything is good. We're happy. We're making things go in solitude. And, you know, Jarl Elisif is just down the hall from us. And we're going to nail her. It's going to be great. So, thank you all for joining us. I hope you liked the video. Please press that like button and we will talk to you very, very soon.